How's it going everybody? Ben from Based at Mew here and welcome back to the channel. In this video I'm going to be unboxing a Shrouded Fable Elite trainer box. So without further ado, let's jump straight into it. I didn't really have that much luck in my last week's opening when I opened the Special Illustration Rare boxes, the Greninja King Draw EX one, as well as the King Gambit Illustration Rare box. But, as I said in that video, I think one of the best parts of Shrouded Fable are actually those boxes. Because the promos are incredible. Here we have the booklet that we get with every single every single Elite Trainer box, so you can see the full set. And it's actually a great opportunity to show you, like, the illustration rest. I've alluded to some of them in my other video, and I think, like... And what I've seen, most of them are actually pretty expensive. I think the Houndoom is really expensive, and so is the Zora and Persian, but they are pretty cool. I think the the illustration rares are actually the best part about Shrouded Fable because of, in case of the special illustration rares, as I've said, the only one that that's like really really cool is like that Cassiopeia, and then maybe this Pheasantipity. And otherwise, you still have these ultra rares. The coal rest is really cool. But we'll see what we can pull in the Elite Trainer boxes. Although I do have to admit, I really haven't had any luck with Elite Trainer boxes in like forever. Like I never pull anything good from these, which is kind of strange. Maybe that will change with this one. So we get, of course, the usual gumbos. We do get some, some damage counters, a die, the burned and poison counter or markers, sorry, we do get some dividers. These are actually really cool. I do like the using these for my bulk. Some energies and of course a cool looking promo right here with the Petra run. You also get this code code, which is for you. And we get a bunch of sleeves, although as per usual, wouldn't really recommend using these sleeves. If you're just starting out collecting and these are fine, but you should really invest into something like Ultra Pro or Dragon Shield. Just spend like five dollars or five euros or something and get yourself a decent set of sleeves. Let me just clear all of this that we don't need off the table. And here we are. So we have nine booster packs to go through and let's see what we can find. Let's just rip open this first one. I'm really hoping at this point, I'm not even hoping for a special illustration, right? Because as I said, most of them are not really great other than the Cassiopeia and the Pheasantipity. I'm really hoping for at least one illustration rare. That's it. Just one illustration rare and I would be happy. Because I haven't pulled one in my last opening. So pulling one now would be pretty cool. Let's see first pack. Do we have some luck? Nope, just a holographic Blood Moon Ursaluna. I've also said it in my first opening. As I said in my first opening, I really don't understand why they made this a quote-unquote special set. Like, why did they pull all the cards from Night Wanderer into this one set? Doesn't really make much sense, but then again, I think they don't do it like they could have added them in Crown or, um, whatchamacallit? Not Crown Zenith, what is it called? Stellar Crown, that's the one. Stellar Crown. But I think if they did that, the set would be too big, and that's maybe why they didn't. And also, we would have to wait even longer for new cards. So that may be part of the reason why they also didn't do it that way. Still, though, feels kind of odd as a special set. This is a very, very weird special set, to say the least. Let's just put it that way. And so far, seems to be continuing. I've also alluded to the fact that I probably won't be opening this set as much as I did like Palde and Fades, that's like the, the one outlier. I do still have like, I think two mini tins, and then maybe one blister coming in, and I may be opening that, although I will be opening just the reverse energy, but I will be opening that in a, in a shorts video on the channel, once they do arrive. That's our only poll so far, and it's just a reverse energy. Well, Let's see, we should, I mean, we ought to get at least one pull from an ETB, although my terrible luck with ETBs may just be that we don't get anything at all. We shall see, we must stay positive, always stay positive. Reverse, reverse, and holographic Haxorus, okay. The, um, the Fracture is also a really cool one in this one, an illustration rare. I think that's the best way to put it, I've said it in the beginning. I think that's actually the best part about Shrouded Fable, is the illustration version, and then 
really nothing else, I'm sorry to say. <laughs> nothing else, it's just the illustration rares. Which is also kind of represented in the price of a lot of these illustration rares. At least from what I can tell, I mean, it's still very early to determine if the prices will stick. But so far, the prices actually seem to be pretty high for these illustration rares, although that seems to have been a trend in recent months and weeks. That illustration rares are just super expensive for some reason. I think the best example is the is the Eevee. The Eevee is super expensive for some reason. I mean, yes, it is a cool card, don't get me wrong, it's a cool card. But why is that so expensive? Like, doesn't really make much sense to me. Oh, also, I have, as I said in, in some of my earlier videos, I've been trying to think about, you know, exchanging my English um, special illustration rares with the Japanese equivalent, like the special art rares, and like a few days ago, my Koraidon EX, like the Japanese, yo, there we go, Q font, nice, we have an illustration rare, that's the best thing I could have hoped for, okay, whoa, that Zoro arc looks cool. Check out that illustration. Whoa, looks really menacing. Nice, and a reverse energy at the end there. So yeah, I was saying, I bought the um, the Koraidon. It has arrived a few days ago, and I did the texture comparison. And I do have to say, it's not as noticeable, but there is still a difference. And I have concluded that I will definitely... Um, basically sell my English special illustration rares and just buy their Japanese equivalents. Because uh, the best part about this, the Japanese special art rares, you know, usually, especially in the Sword and Shield era, they used to be way more expensive than the English counterpart. But for this, for the most part, they're only just a little bit more expensive. And for the most, and for sometimes, they are even the same price. An Okie Doge EX, okay. So we do end up getting two pulls. I mean, we still have two packs left, although I'm not not holding my breath for these two, to be honest. Um, maybe I can be surprised, though. So far, though, Shrouded Fable seems to have very, very bad pull rates. But then, isn't it always the case with these special sets other than Crown Zenith? I think Crown Zenith might have been the only set that didn't have horrible pull rates, at least all the times that I've opened it. And it's always so much fun to open Crown Zenith. I highly recommend you, you do buy yourself a few products of Crown Zenith, because the prices of them will rise. Yo! Okay, this is something I didn't pull before. An Ace card. Neutralization Zone. Really, really nice. And a holographic that I could see, I could tell by that shiny border. Here's the code card for that one. Yo, okay. An Ace card? Not to show, or Ace Spec card, sorry. Ace Spec, still learning. Still learning the game, and Shroud of Fable, or also the um, Pheasant Dippity EX that I pulled um, last week. Apparently those cards were actually kind of pricey. Um, it must be because they are really good in terms of playability. Because as I said, I'm just, I'm still a beginner, so I wouldn't know if they are actually good. But we'll see. We'll, we'll see. Hypno, Call Rest Tenacity. We have a Stuffle. And we have just a holographic, okay. And here is the code card for that one. Well, we did get what I wanted. We got a Q fund. We got an illustration rare. And this is a really, really cute one. Look at this. That looks beautiful. Nice. And we even got an Ace spec card. So, even though we only got three pulls from like nine booster packs, I really can't complain. Got what we wanted. And, well, there we go. That was the opening of the ETB. Kind of a short one, but, you know, sometimes I do like doing shorter openings. Well, but I guess it does it for this video. If you enjoyed this video, then please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. Tell me in the comments below what you didn't like, so I can try to fix that for future videos. Other than that, right here is a video that YouTube thinks is best suited for you. Right here is the subscribe button. Click this one first, then click this video. Check out any of the other videos in the description below. And I hope we'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Peace, peace. Take care.